still nothing. So it's been just over three weeks since I passed my RPL flight test and still no license in the post from CASA. So I phoned them up earlier on and they said, if it hasn't come by the end of this week, let them know, but they haven't processed it just yet. Which is understandable in a way because they'll have a huge backlog of, of work to get through since the COVID pandemic. But I'm itching to go flying. What I thought I'd do is talk to you in this video just about a couple of the things that have inspired me. Just a short video because otherwise you'll be bored. Now, I did a couple of things wrong in my flying test and the biggest one was that at some point I was told to go around and I was still in the downwind leg when that happened. But I continued round onto base, round onto final and kept descending. And then in the go around was told, you shouldn't have done that. And I'll play that clip for you now. Tango Romeo Romeo, clear this approach. Clear this approach, Tango Romeo Romeo. Tango Romeo Romeo, go around, join up wind. Go around, join up wind, Tango Romeo Romeo. Tango Romeo Romeo, for next time, uh, after conducting the go around, you're not supposed to descend below so the altitude. And you're following the twin, turning early down, winds change on my left, I'm ready to make a left circuit. Left circuit and follow the, uh, the twin and sorry about that, Tango Romeo Romeo. I'm not going to be one of these people that just puts their good moments on the on the channel. I've got to learn from my mistakes and hopefully you guys can learn from it as well. That one was a pretty basic one. I should have known that and I, you know, slapped myself when I realized what I'd done because it's so obvious. If you're told to go around, why would you keep descending? So that's a small mistake, but I've learned from it. It means that I won't hopefully ever do it again. One of the best channels I find to watch is a guy called Stefan Drury. Now, whether you like him or not, or his content or what he does, I like the fact that there is structure to his channel. And that's what I'm gonna try and recreate here to bring you along on my flying journey with me. Now, I might not necessarily get there quickly, but the idea is to chart the progress through this channel and use this channel as a bit of a video diary for myself and for you guys as well. And hopefully you can learn something I was lucky enough to meet Stefan Drury down at the Wings Over Illawarra Air Show in November of 2021, and he's a really nice guy, and it turns out he's got some links to the same part of the UK as I do. And from that point of view, when you've got some common ground with someone, it sort of gravitates you towards them a little bit more. So as much as I'm a long way away from Steph's level when it comes to flying and you know the licenses he holds and being able to go flying as regularly as he does, I really hope that we can fly together one day in the future. And if that happens, I look forward to it. Steph, if you happen to be watching, you know where I am. That's probably about as much as I've got for you in this video. The next video, hopefully, will mean that the licenses come in the post and that I'm gonna take my wife flying for the first time I don't even know if she really, really wants to. Hopefully she does and hopefully she has a good time and we can make a good video out of that. Now, I'm not sure how mad keen she's gonna be about that. She's not a fan of light aircraft as a whole. When we were in America for our honeymoon a few years ago, I hired a Cessna 172 from Santa Barbara Airport and flew around the surrounding area, including Neverland Ranch, and she didn't come with me but it's a shame because it was a super smooth day and we'd been on two helicopters at that point and she loved that, but she just wasn't keen on the light aircraft. So we'll see how she goes in this flight. I really hope she enjoys it and that she comes flying with me lots in the future. If you haven't already, please, please, please hit like and subscribe down here below the video. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithms and I really, really want to grow this channel into something big and something that we can all enjoy. And. Uh, I'm just very, very grateful for all of your support so far. The comments since I've passed my uh, RPL flight test have been really heartwarming, so thank you very much. And hopefully I can go flying with some of you soon. In the meantime, head over to alphacharliestore.com. Hopefully you find something you like there and can support the channel in that way. There's also Alpha Charlie photos on Instagram and Facebook as well. So thank you so much for all of your support so far and into the future, and see you next time on the Alpha Charlie channel.